Morning, Andona, you're right. Morning. Um, we understand a deal's been agreed to bring Tyler Adams to the club, and he's, he's coming down for his medical. Is he someone you're looking forward to having on board? Um, morning. Uh, I think it's a player that right now is is not our player, so we have to we have to wait. I think that you know that the club is is working towards uh, signing someone there in the in the midfield, but uh, we we have to wait until until everything is 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 complete. But is he the sort of profile of player that you would like to have? Yes, obviously. He's a, a, a really good player. He has performed in the Champions League, national team experience. But I don't want to go too far because right now it's not it's not our player. OK, um, and in terms of any other further additions, do you see any more coming in beyond someone like Tyler? I think overall we are really happy with the squad we have. Uh, probably the, the the area where we are looking forward to sign someone is, is this this midfield because right now with a couple of injuries we also have we may be shorter. But apart from that, I think uh, we are we are good. Uh, probably still a long time till the the market ends. So probably there there can be some. Uh, changes, some players leaving and we have to replace them, but we are not especially looking at uh, uh, other centre uh, with with the, the same need that we are looking in the midfield area. And um, just looking forward to the game now, yeah. when you first decided to take the job, facing Liverpool at Anfield, was that one of the ones that you were really looking forward to and, and how will you look to combat them this weekend? It's obviously a, a big challenge. For the team, for for me as a coach, I think we're playing a, a very good team. Very good team. I think they've done also very good, very good signings. Uh, the the game will be very demanding physically because they are very fast players, willing to play high tempo, attacking the space all the time, uh, willing to counter, willing to press high also. So I think we. We will have a clear idea where we are comparing to to these kind of teams. And um, there's been lots of talk about the absence of a number six in that Liverpool team. Is that sort of something that maybe your team will look to exploit? Maybe. I think they have uh, very very good midfielders. They have a lot of options. They've signed uh, McAllister. They've signed Sovaslai. They I don't know if it's official or not, but they've signed the uh, Endo. Uh, I think they have a lot of alternatives. They use also Alexander Arnold uh, to help them in the build up their inside. So also the the young players are really good. Uh, they are a really good team. We know we are uh, what we are facing, and now it's our turn to 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 face them to to try to make them also think in. In defending, not, not all, only thinking in attacking us and how to to exploit our weaknesses, and uh, we'll see tomorrow if we are ready for this. And just one last one for me. Um, lots of people here are delighted about the Lionesses reaching the World Cup final. Will you be watching the match on Sunday and, and cheering on Spain? Uh, I think we will not because I think we train this <laughs> in this moment. I think we are training 10:30 something like this. So it's so gonna be it's gonna be tough. After we also want to see the Premier League game, so it's always difficult. But okay, yes, yes. If I if I can, I I I will try to catch as much as I can from the game. I I know especially because he she was my my classmate Monse, who is assistant coach from the Spain national team. So I will hope especially for her that they they play well and they they win the game. And it's quite impressive for them reaching the final as well. They've had a great tournament, in Spain, haven't they? Yes, yes, I think they've been quite successful last years in club side, let's say, with uh, especially Barca winning the, the Champions Leagues and, and, and probably they needed this last part with the national team that they could perform against the best best uh, teams in, in the world and they've done it in the in the World Cup. Any score prediction? Well, I really don't know, I really don't know, sorry. Thanks, Ed. Thank you. How are you on the injury front? Yes, we we 
uh, we have the same injuries we had past week. Probably the only one we can recover is, is Lloyd Kelly that has started training with the group uh, last last three, four sessions. So probably if he feels good today, he, he can travel with the team, but the rest continues the, the same. When you had the open training session here on Tuesday, there were players flat on their backs at the end, exhausted. And then you had them in later that day for another training session. How close are they to the level of fitness that you want? Uh, probably any of the teams are 100% in the fitness side right now because it's the start of the season. But we need to get there and we need to keep pushing. We have to be careful because we've had some some injuries, especially at the beginning of the pre-season. So there is always the balance. You want them to train hard, but you don't want them to get injured. So you have to balance and that's our 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 job. But uh, overall, I think the, 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 the players are training well. Has there been much talk this week that you've heard of Bournemouth's last trip to Anfield this time last year? No, this happened a lot of time ago. Uh, I think it's a new, new, new season. I think we, we start, uh, every team starts from zero now. Uh, we have one, one, one game behind us, but it's, it's, it's going to be completely different from past season, completely different from the game we played against West Ham the other day. Every game has different uh, characteristics, different players, and uh, I think we are going to focus it uh, this way. Have you been to Anfield before? I've never been there. No, I've been in the outside. We went to play against Everton, pre-season friendly, I remember. And we, we were there looking at the outside because it's not too far. But uh, I've never played there, no. In your 20s, did you pay attention much to Liverpool because of Xabi Alonso being there? Yes, obviously. Obviously, I think uh, it's a team that also has been uh, really successful last last a lot of years. <laughs> so uh, when when Xabi was there, obviously you pay more attention because you know him. Also, the play, Spanish players that I knew were were playing there, and and, and they have been really all exciting last last season playing with with Georgian club i think overall they are very a very nice team to watch with high tempo attacking the spaces i think there's their the football has been really entertaining last seasons and uh, but now it's our turn to play there and to face this team and we have to to give the level uh, to to try to compete and try to give us the the chances to take uh, pro points from 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 Anfield. I know you're focused on tomorrow, but do you remember where you were in 2005, that famous Champions League final when Xavi scored the equaliser? Yeah, I remember the 3-3. I was playing for Athletic Club. I was there in, at at home. And <laughs> I think it's a very, very special, very special game because it was Champions League final, coming back from three goals. And uh, it was a, a really nice game, but it was a long time ago. <laughs> And I know you don't want to talk about Tyler Adams, but that position, you've obviously, Bournemouth have lost Jefferson Lerma, you played West Ham last week, they've lost Declan Rice, Liverpool have got a hole to fill as well. How important, I know every position is important, but that defensive midfielder, how difficult and important is that role? All positions are important, but it's obvious that right now, especially with, with the Lewis Cook injury, we are short of numbers there because the other day probably we pushed uh, Joe Rothwell too much because he was coming also from an injury and he had to play and he did very well. He had to play all the game, but he hasn't played 90 minutes in pre-season and we had to push him. And in these moments where probably we have some injuries, market is not finished, we need the help from everyone. The other day, Semenyo played 20 minutes, gave us very good 20 minutes and he hadn't even played one minute in pre-season because uh, right now, all the teams normally we are not complete. We we have still some some days, and we need help from 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 everyone. And I'm really happy because James Hill playing out of position, Max Adams playing straight away, Semenyo, Joe Rothwell. I think they are understanding that right now we need everyone at, at the level they are, independently of if we can at Lloyd Kelly today would be very good help for us also so we are in this moment that everyone has to push just 
one last one then. Defensive midfielders, there's all the talk about them with Casado and Lavia and so on. You finished your career in that position, I think. Does it does it take a lot of adjustment to to, to play that role? Is it is it very specialized? Uh, you have to understand very well the game. I think uh, I finished playing there because I didn't have the legs to 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 play as a right back and to follow the wingers. So I think I understood the game and I could survive as a as a number six. But I think you have to. It's not about your game only. When you are number six, number eight, you have to understand what's happening around you, why we are not pressing well, we are not building up well, why, and 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 also uh, normally the players that are the ones to to go to the coach and say, coach here, I think we have problem. I think we need something else here because I, I feel, because you feel when you are there in the middle that something is not working well. And uh, this is not not easy to have, uh, especially when, when we're, you are young. Thank you very much. Good luck. Morning, Ando. Morning. You touched on Lewis Cook. Lewis Cook and Dango Atara didn't play against West Ham and Marcos Sinezi came off. Can you just tell us how they all are? Yes, uh, Dango will be injured for, for more weeks. He was still in a boot, so I think uh, we are not expecting him playing early. Uh, Luis will gonna go more week to week, let's say, but it's not ready for sure for 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 tomorrow. He hasn't been training with the with the team, and Marcos has been training well. I think it was he just cramped first game of the season. Uh, the same happened to 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 Max. Also was quite quite normal in his case, but they are not they are not injured. Some um, some positive news about uh, David Brooks and Ernie. I don't know if you know, but played 75 minutes against West Ham, which is the longest match minutes he's had for two years following his illness and his injury. Subsequently, a great pre-season he had, and you started him in your first game. Just tell us your thoughts on him. Uh, uh, Brooks has has been very very good in pre-season, in the trainings, in the friendlies we've played. I think he has scored some goals. Uh, Past week wasn't an easy game for him. Uh, a lot of physical duels. He stru struggled probably at the beginning of the game. As the game went on, I think he improved a lot. He had some two, three good chances for him because he's has very, very good left foot. But he didn't he didn't uh, finish well. But overall, I was I was happy with the precision, with the friendly games, and he's pushing hard to compete. It's a position where. We have a lot of competition there because even without Dango and Tavernier, I think we have a lot of chances there. So it's going to be tough for me to decide during the season, but it's uh, it's good news for the team, I think.